Good day, YouTube. This is just a, a bit of a fun comparison between OpenSUSE KDE variant on the left, so the Plasma desktop environment, and OpenSUSE the GNOME desktop environment on the right. So I'll first of all mention this is actually running on the, both of them are running on what's called Tumbleweed, which is uh, just the, the code name for the, the rolling release. So it's not a point release or anything, which means it is using the, uh, I guess, most up-to-date uh, software, packages, kernels, all sorts of things typically there, as much as it can use. Now, uh, let's have a look at the, uh, I guess, start off with the start menus to rip off some Windows terminology there. But it is a little bit different the way that you navigate these things. I'm not very the biggest fan of uh, GNOME, the way that it works. I'm just not sure how to look for things. I suppose I can search, type it in the search bar, or I can kind of scroll across. Ugh, not the fan, but hey, it is what it is. Some people love it, and I get that. Technically, I use it every day on Ubuntu, just a customized variant. Uh, on the uh, left-hand side, a bit more of a conventional start menu, which I like. Uh, it's uh, nicely colored in there with some icons. You can actually categorize or see the categorization of the application. So I've got a few games, we've got some graphics apps, we've got our internet apps, including Firefox, multimedia apps, Office apps. They tend to go for the LibreOffice uh, software suite there, good for them, settings, and so on, so forth, etc. So it's just nice and easy to use, in my opinion, there. If we were to right click, uh, we'll find that uh, KDE or the Plasma desktop environment is quite uh, a little bit more useful in terms of the context menu. So you can see a lot of things. This is very good that Plasma does this. So right click, create a text file. I can't tell you how much. That's been annoying over the last 10 years. Many uh, distros, or should I say desktop environments, don't allow for that. They even allow for a HTML file, that's great. And a few extra bits and pieces, not the least of which is some widgets there as well. Uh, on the right hand side, uh, you can do almost nothing with this. <laughs> you can change your desktop and you can go to the settings, which is also there. And we had one further one, the display settings, which is also within the settings. So that's not something I'm gonna use every day. That's just, painfully simple, considering the RAM usage that we'll check in a moment, uh, just the RAM usage on boot up. But uh, let's have a look at the file managers. So we are using uh, the Dolphin file manager and the GNOME files file manager, synony synonymous with both uh, distros or, or desktop environments there. But uh, they are really much of a muchness. I guess I prefer the Dolphin one there. You can right click as well, and you've got a few more options as always with Plasma, which is really nice to see, really fully fledged uh, distro for sure. Uh, last but not least, uh, maybe we could take a little bit of a look under the hood and see yeah, the RAM usage that I did briefly mention there before. So let's uh, go to a terminal and type in the following and see what we're dealing with here. So about 620 megabytes of RAM on boot up for the uh, KDE Plasma variant, which is nice to see, that's good. It's not the best, certainly not the worst. Whereas GNOME running at about 910 megabytes of RAM on boot up there, uh, constantly fluctuating as I speak. But hey, about 50% uh, more for, for, for the GNOME desktop environment, which these days is really known to be much more of a heavyweight uh, desktop environment there. And Plasma, KDE has certainly made a lot of strides over the years, so still fully functional, but uh, lighter weight, I would say there. So that's pretty much it guys, just a super simple quick comparison video between the two. Thanks for watching, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.